Let's look at this rocket sled here. It's going on in the snow, but it wants to stop. There are two little devices mounted on the sled, and they can eject gas. And so the forward one is used to eject gas to make the sled stop. We want to derive a, a, a relation for the differential between the speed of the sled and uh, the, the differential of the mass of the, the rocket sled. But before we do that with the rocket equation, we need to actually consider what else we know about this system. Well, we know that the dry mass has uh, a mass of m0. The fuel mass is given also as m0. And we know that at time of t equals 0, the speed of the sled is v0. We also know that at a later time, t plus delta t, we have the sled here, whose mass is now m of t plus delta t. And we have this little mass parcel that has been ejected, so the gas, and that has the mass of delta mf, so the mass of the fuel. Uh, we furthermore know that relative to the sled, this little gas parcel is moving with a speed u. The rocket equation says that my force, my external force, has two terms. We have the mass of the rocket times the acceleration of the sled uh, minus the uh, differential here of the mass times th uh, the speed u. And these are actually all vectors. And so this describes this little uh, gas parcel here. And this one describes the rocket. And we know that. Um, v equals v i hat. i hat is going in the, right, in the direction of motion. And u equals u i hat. We also know that there are no external forces applied to the sled. So that's actually 0. Uh, we can then turn this equation. We can apply all of this. We, have, we will get 0 equals mr dvr dt minus dmr dtu. We can bring this one on the other side, and we end up with the relationship that we wanted to obtain, namely the, the, uh, the, an equation that contains the differentials of the speed of the rocket, uh, the, that sled, and the differential of the mass. We just derived this relation here, the uh, relation between the differential of the speed of the rocket sled and the differential of the mass of the rocket. And we want to ultimately get the speed of the rocket. So we have to do, uh, we have to apply a technique called separation of variables, and then we want to integrate. What we're going to do is first we're going to uh, divide, uh, uh, multiply by dt, so that falls away. And we're left with mr dvr equals dmru. And we're going to shuffle the m onto the other side. And we're left with dvr equals u is a constant, so that goes up front. And then we have dmr over mr. That's an equation that we can integrate now. And we can do that. And the tricky bit is that we need to take care of the integration limits here. We have vr, and actually these now are all primes. So we have vr going from v0. That is our initial condition here. 2vr prime of um, oops, equal vr of t. And for the mass, we have mr prime equals m0. Actually, not quite m0. It's 2m0, because the initial mass of this is the dry mass and the fuel mass. So that's 2m0. So this is the. Um, the initial mass. 
um, and then we go to m r prime equals m of v r. All right, so let's do that. We're going to get v r minus v naught equals u one over m integrated gives us an ln. So ln, and then we can immediately. Um, do this here over 2 um, naught. And um, well, we ultimately want this, so this is an VR of t, of course, and then we get V naught plus U ln MR over 2 M naught. And uh, that is our equation. So what does this equation tell us? MR, the mass of the rocket, is less later on than it was before, which means that this term here is going to be less than zero, which means the velocity is our initial velocity minus something, which means we have a decrease in velocity which means my sled will eventually come to a stop. So the last question we can ask us is what was that V naught here, the initially of the sled, making use of the fact that the sled comes to a stop at the time that the fuel is all used up. That means that our uh, final velocity here, here is zero will bring V naught to the other side. And then we get a minus U ln. And the rocket mass by then is just the dry mass. M naught over 2 M naught. And that, of course, cancels out here. And we can say that is plus U ln of 2. So that was the velocity that the sled was going with.